I'm Jonathan Kinleysides, I'm a keeper of industry at Beamish, so I look after all the industrial collections, so things like the quarry yard, the garage in the town, the print shop and the telephone exchange. Yeah, this is our telephone exchange, Beamish Telecom. It was donated to Beamish by BT in 1992 and it's been working here since then. Uh, initially provided uh, telephones around the Beamish tramway but it's actually capable of running 100 telephones. So over the last few years, we've got a group of volunteers together, all made up of XBT employees, and they've come in and spend their, their free time actually installing phones around the site. We've got around 80 phones around the site now, and they're used in the period exhibits. So people in, whether it's the tea rooms or the bakery or Francis Street, anywhere has a telephone so they can all communicate uh, between each other using period telephones rather than using modern telephones or walkie-talkies. It means we can actually sort of look right to the visitors, people are, are speaking on period handsets. I'm Alan Monkhouse, I'm a volunteer here at Beamish. I've been here just over two and a half years now. Um, I was a, an employee of uh, BT for about 42 years until I retired um, just over two and a half years ago. There's about five or six of us and we all have different backgrounds. Um, my background was what we called exchange construction, so we would install this. There's a couple of guys who are uh, exchange maintenance guys, so we would install it, leave it behind, move to the next job. Their function was to maintain it if there was any faults. Um, so we've got various backgrounds. Um, amongst the team of about five or six of us. The, the, these are the, this, is a, this system is called Strouger and that was the name of this type of uh, switching equipment and it's an electromechanical switch so you've got relays which operate to electrical current which will then mechanically a step the, uh, the switch to do. It will select which telephone number you have dialed. So under the control of a dial it will step the switch to choose the line that you've actually died. So if I just press the switch once, and that would be what would happen under the influence of a dive. You'll hear the selection take place, and that would be, if I dialed a five, for instance, that, that would be under the control of a dive, and then it would select the telephone line that you want to speak with. From here, it would select another selector which then connects to the external cable and it, I don't know if it's in shot but that is the external cable coming in. This is a typical, this is an actual old BT telephone exchange. So the external cables come in from outside to the connection here and the lines are connected through the wiring to there and outside to the, uh, to the lines in the street. The, this, this size exchange of 100 lines would be the smaller villages. It usually was fairly central to the, uh, to the villages. Um, you know, and there was lots of telephone exchanges. Um, the larger ones, city centres, um, could be anything up to five, ten thousand lines. This one, small one, a hundred lines. So, fairly central to villages and usually known by the community. This type of equipment hasn't been in service now for some 20 to 30 years now. Um, it's now replaced by modern digital type equipment, which is not electromechanical at all. It's more a computer based um, switch now. Some of the parts, I mean, most of the equipment when it was recovered were, were scrapped and some of the parts are obsolete. But there's certain parts that we still have a, a bit of a supply for, even here at the museum. But nationally on eBay, you'd be surprised what you can get. But, uh, so, you know, if, if we wanted a rack, that would be difficult to get. But some of the smaller moving parts are still about.